Hi, this is June Blender at Sapien Technologies. And today, I'm going to show you some of the features of PowerShell Studio that make creating modules very efficient by automating a lot of the tasks that would otherwise be manual and quite repetitive. So here's my motivation for creating some of these modules. This is my script directory. You probably have one like this and I just dump in all the scripts that I create in the course of a normal workday. You'll see that I have well more than a thousand items, so not a very efficient way to work. So let me show you how I can very easily in PowerShell Studio create a module from the functions in these script files. In PowerShell Studio, I'll click File, New, New Module from Functions, and it brings up that unwieldy script directory and I'm going to create a module from the functions that I've written to analyze module manifests. I've been helping friends whose modules aren't working because their manifests are faulty. PowerShell Studio has analyzed the functions in each of the scripts that I selected and displayed them for me. So right off the bat I'm going to eliminate this Azure specific one because I want it to be generic and I can see that I have two get module manifest functions. I've done that work twice so I'll eliminate one of them. I'll give the module a name manifest manager and click create module and now PowerShell Studio has really done most of the heavy lifting for me. Um, it's created a manifestmanager.psm1 file and I'm going to collapse the help and code so you can see what's in here. And it's basically copied the functions that I selected and pasted them all into this PSM1 file. It's even added an export module member command at the end with all of the functions that I selected. It's also created a module manifest for me, manifestmanager.psd1, with a unique module GUID and correct and valid keys. And it's even created a test file for me. I'll probably put some pester tests in this one. Now, that's really efficient just to start, but there's an added feature that's not obvious when you look at these files. PowerShell Studio has actually created a project for me. Let me pin this project pane. Having a project makes it really easy for me to open and close, rename and organize the elements of my module. So let me create that module since what I've created here is a project. Up here in the project pane I'll click build module. And you can see in the output window that it exported the module to Home, Documents, Windows, PowerShell, Modules, Manifest Manager. I can go up here and open the module folder. I don't even need to go searching for it. And it's added the PSM1 file and the module manifest, but it's even smart enough to exclude my test file. And when you use that file, new new module from functions feature PowerShell Studio offers you the option of creating an external XML help file. When you do in addition to the PSM1, the PSD1 and the test file, it creates a correctly named and valid XML help file. To get the content of that file, it takes the comment based help from the PSM1 file and then it actually looks at the code to get things like parameter attributes for its file. Having an external XML help file is great for distributed projects like those in GitHub. One person works on the help, another person works on the code, and they don't have to be working in the same file. It's also required for creating help in multiple spoken languages and for supporting updatable help. And when I build my module and open it, 
PowerShell Studio has added that XML help file in the correct place in my module. So that is file new, new module from functions. At Sapien, we're always looking for opportunities to automate so that we do the work that you don't have to do. I think this is a great example. Thanks for listening.